After graduating college, Danville Middle School teacher Lindsay Weaver tried several different careers before eventually becoming a paralegal. I was so unhappy as a paralegal. Just every day, I, and I sort of like internalized the, the struggles of my clients, especially in those solo practitioner firms where I was talking to the people every day and I was dealing with their problems. And I worked for Nordstrom for a lot of the time. That's who I worked for when I decided to change careers. Turbotville Elementary School art teacher Alyssa Pittinger worked in Maryland for Nordstrom before eventually moving back to central Pennsylvania and going back to school. The one thing I loved about my job in the fashion industry was doing visual merchandising, which um, is the artistic side of things, so setting up mannequins and displays for people to get ideas from and shop. Um, and I got to do less and less of that, and it became more about managing people. Um, and I always, as a kid, I loved art. I spent all my extra time as a kid in the art room whenever I could. Um, so I just decided that if I was going to do something for the rest of my life, I wanted to really enjoy going into work every day. Yeah. And I found that I wasn't. So I left Maryland, and I'm from up here, so I moved back up here, and then I went to um, Penn State. I graduated in 98, and then between 1998 and 2015, um, I was a civil engineer, and I worked um, in academia. Uh, I worked in the Peace Corps, and I worked as a consultant. Even before becoming a civil engineer, Brad Newland knew he wanted to become a teacher at some point in his life. My undergraduate, I did a, uh, a mathematic in, uh, teaching internship, because I, I, even though I was a civil engineer, I, I kind of knew that I wanted to be in the classroom at some point in my career. Um, and so at that point, I, yeah, as a math person, uh, or as a civil engineer, I was able to, I guess, help some of my students, my fellow students when I was an undergraduate with math, and I, I really liked that. So I knew that at that point that I would be in the classroom. But civil engineering was fun too, so I, I did that. Um, I did that first, and there's a lot of opportunities there when I graduated. I considered going back to school a number of times to be a teacher. My mom's a teacher, my aunts and uncles are teachers, and she discouraged me from being a teacher because of the things that I face now as a teacher. Uh, high stakes testing, the standardized testing, the um, cell phones and, and technology innovations and incorporating so much into your classroom. That Weaver ended up not heeding her mother's advice and took her first teaching position as a French teacher at the Milton School District. When this position became available at Milton, combined with being so unhappy as a paralegal, and the opportunity to go back to school, it just seemed like a serendipitous event where the stars were all aligning for me and, and I could do what I, I felt I was born to do. And I love it. The elementary school just, it gets you in the heart because the kids still have their imagination. So I just loved the stories behind the art making, the process behind the art making for little kids when they're exploring the world of art. So that's what made me go with elementary. After practicing civil engineering, I started looking back at the requirements for teaching, and it, it essentially required a, another master's degree. So I had to uh, be really secure in the decision I was making. <laughs> Um, and I, I got my master's at Penn State. I have some real world experience and I try to bring in as much uh, excitement and, and actual experiments into the math classroom as I can. Um, and, and so I do that, I think probably more than, than a younger version of myself coming right out of school would have done.